Hey Taurus, hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a general love reading for September 2021 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or of course you can always get a personal reading. Also the roles can be reversed because it is general. So let's see, what is the overall energy for Taurus? for the first half of September. All right, and we have mask. Okay, so somebody in this situation is not showing their true self, not showing their true feelings, their true thoughts. Somebody is wearing a mask and possibly pretending that they don't care, for example, or just, um, just not really showing you the whole truth of what is going on. Let's see. It could even be that they're trying to convince themselves of something that they don't truly feel. And this could be for your person or it could be for you. And in some cases, it could even be the both of you. So let's see, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First half of September. Okay, for your situation, we have the Hierophant crossed by the Four of Cups. All right, well, first of all, this is your energy showing up right here, but there's definitely a commitment in the picture here that I feel you are, somebody's feeling like they're settling in it, um, not very happy, not very happy or feeling some sort of a disappointment in this commitment. It does come through as if it is a marriage or just a high level of commitment or that this is a relationship where for some of you it could be based on cultural values or something that it just felt like this is something that needed to be um, without you really wanting it okay for some of you for others it's just a commitment that you're not feeling very satisfied in and it could even be that it's a third party for some of you okay take the messages as they resonate this can always be um, a possibility in every reading so for the recent past we have the lovers for the near future we have the five of cups for you we have the page of pentacles for them we have the ten of cups more about you is the judgment for them the king of pentacles and potential outcome here is the nine of swords all right taurus so from the looks of it this is a connection where at some point there either was um some intensity some love here an intense connection or this could even be somebody else for some of you, um, possibly there was a choice between two different situations here. I'm not going to focus too much on the past, though. Um, for you, I feel like you're still giving to this connection a little bit. Like, you're still trying to see if, if it's a possibility, if it can go anywhere. Um, but I also feel like there's a lot that you are learning here, both judging by the Page of Pentacles as well as Judgment. There's a lot that you are learning and I feel like you are having like a major wake-up call to what this situation is and possibly to what needs to change here. Um, for them, this is somebody who, or there is somebody here who does have a lot of love for you and really wants commitment with you. So trying to understand what this Four of Cups is. There is some loss, um, feelings of grief, feelings of sadness that are coming up. Um, again, I don't know if this is you or if it is for your person. Again, the roles can be reversed, okay? I cannot stress that enough. And I do see some anxiety here, some stress concerning the situation because apparently, even though there is somebody here who does have a lot of love for you and wants this connection with you, somebody is not happy. <clears throat> so let's clarify and see. Let's clarify the Hierophant with the Four of Cups. Alright, 
So we have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so somebody is beginning to question their happiness here. Um, I feel like intuition is beginning to come through, but somebody's not really acting on, on what it is that they truly want, on what it is that would truly make them happy. I feel like, and th that's because this person is still in the process of questioning the happiness and trying to decide how, which way to go concerning this. Um, I feel like whoever this is, whoever it is that's not happy here, whoever it is that is facing this disappointment is also the one wearing the mask. Kind of like, you know what, like I want this to be happy. I want this to work. I want to feel like, you know, we can just have this Ten of Cups. But I feel like you're, this person's intuition is telling them otherwise. I do feel like this is you. That's why I keep saying you. Um, because we also have um, your sign here in the, in the main energy, in the main situation. So let's see. You know what? Let's actually see this lovers in the past. Let's clarify the lovers. The Six of Cups and the Page of Swords. Okay, I feel like there is a connection here. Um, in the past, it might be the same person, but for some of you, it might be somebody else. And I feel like this person from the past is somebody that possibly you are... I, I feel like it's coming back in. It, or at least, if this person is not showing back up on their own, it, they're coming back in into your own mind. And I feel like you, you're a little curious as to what might be happening with them or what is going on with them. Um, and so this might even be a part of why you're feeling this dissatisfaction or maybe the dissatisfaction was there to begin with. That's more likely. And somebody from your past is kind of popping back up or has recently popped up. Let's see, let's see the page of pentacles. Alright, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, so quite a bit of Pentacles here. Yeah, you know, it does feel like this. there's um, some kind of a third party going on here. Alright, I've, I've been getting that from the beginning, so I feel like it's being confirmed to me. You're still giving to this situation that you're in now. However... I feel like you're you're it's almost like you're forcing yourself. You're forcing yourself to continue to give some energy to this thinking that maybe it will it will work out. Um and I feel like that's not really what your intuition is telling you. I mean, you you can Try. I mean, it's only a matter of time before, before we really realize what it is that that we want and, and if something can work or not. You know, it's just kind of like um, pushing ourselves to that limit, and then once we reach reach that limit, like yeah, you know, then that burden is going to have to be released. And I forgot to put my phone on silent. Oops. All right. So let's see judgment here because I feel like, like I said, there's some kind of a major wake up call that's happening for you here. All right, we have the magician, the six of pentacles and the chariot. I also had the three of cups also kind of pop out. So keeping that in mind as well, um, which is going back to that third party. So I do feel like it is you. Um, the person that I'm referring to as Taurus, who is involved in the third party. Of course, if you're a Taurus um, watching, it could be the other person, okay? So, you're, you're moving in a new direction here, and I feel like you might not even really be aware of it. Like, you are, you are manifesting this. You are manifesting 
something new that is coming into your life or that you are taking a new direction. I feel like what it is that you are waking up to is the fact that in this particular connection, something is missing. Something is missing. Either you've been giving more energy to this than the other person or vice versa. Maybe the other person is giving a lot of energy and you're realizing that you just cannot give that back to them. There's something that I feel is not even when it comes to, to that. And it almost, it's even coming in as by you just giving a little bit to this, I feel like you're not going all out because it's like you're forcing yourself. In that way, it's like you're manifesting a new direction for this. And that in turn also helps you to realize that this isn't where you want to be putting your energy and maybe this isn't your Ten of Cups. So let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see this Ten of Cups. Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Hanged Man. This person is trying hard. Um, I don't know how it's presenting itself, but this person is definitely trying really hard and pushing really hard in order to keep this connection with you. But I feel like they're either waiting for you to come around or they're just, it, it, it feels like it's not going anywhere. Let me see this King of Pentacles. The Moon and the Four of Swords. Oh, okay. All right. So I feel like this person has mostly been um, trying for this, but in a different way, almost like not, I don't feel like they're physically putting in energy. And again, it feels like it's somebody different than the person that you're not feeling happiness with. But of course, it could be the same person. Um, I feel like this person has just been trying to endure whatever it is that is happening. So I don't really feel that they're giving. I feel like they want to, but for whatever reason, they're holding back because we have the moon and, and the four of swords here, as well as the hanging man. So there's just a lot of endurance that this person is um, presenting here. And I feel like it's something that is, it's frustrating to them. It's really frustrating to them. They're, they don't really know what's going on. I feel like there's a lot of fear here for this particular person. But again, they're not... Let me get one more, actually. It's almost like they're trying to heal themselves. They're trying to heal whatever it is that they're feeling. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely wants a commitment with you. Um, and they have you on their mind a lot. They're trying to keep their distance. But the only reason why they're trying to keep their distance is because I feel like you're giving off that vibe of not, I don't know, of not wanting this. Maybe it's the person from the past. It's, it feels a little complicated, to be honest with you. Um, but this per there is a person here who definitely wants a lot of commitment with you. But I feel like they don't know what's going on with you. There's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of hesitancy. And so they might not be doing much. They're just kind of enduring the situation. So even if it is this person that you are dealing with, I feel like they're kind of just standing back, just waiting to see how it's all going, going to unfold. So let's see this Five of Cups that is coming up. Alright, the Nine of Swords again, and the Hierophant. Ah. Okay, so you know what you guys, for some of you, this might not be another connection, it might just be some really strong beliefs that you're holding on to that are creating this unhappiness. 
all right, whatever those are, it could be anything, but whatever those beliefs are, I feel like they're keeping you away from that 10 of cups. Um, because here you are showing up again, and I feel like what's coming up for you is that you are beginning to release either those beliefs or whatever this connection is that you've been holding on to that doesn't feel right to you, that feels either like you're settling or that it's just disappointing or that you're just feeling indifferent to it, maybe you're feeling bored. Whatever the case is, I feel like you're, what's coming up is you really having to process what you feel and having to take off that mask and and facing that Four of Cups and Five of Cups, that that's how you truly feel about this. And yeah, you know, that might cause some stress a little bit, and it's only natural that it would. I don't think it's anything you cannot get over or that you cannot deal with. So very, um, I feel like this is a very specific reading, actually. Might not resonate for all of you. That's completely okay. You know, if it's not your situation, it's just, it's just not your situation. Let's see the Nine of Swords. <laughs> King of Cups and the Lovers. And that Lovers is from the past, right? The, that past energy that I was talking about, which also showed up with the um, Six of Cups. And now it's showing up with the King of Cups. There is somebody here from your past, I feel that there is a lot of love. There's a deep connection. This person has a lot of love for you. I feel like it's definitely different than what you are, than what's happening for you now, regardless if this is a um, another commitment or if you're alone and these are just your beliefs. I feel like, you know, there's... You might be faced with a choice here. You might be faced with a choice, and I don't know if this person is actually coming back in. It does appear to be that way, like this person is somehow just coming back in, whether you're bringing them in or they're coming in. Um, and it's still creating you a little bit of anxiety, I feel, because... Well, let me get one more. <laughs> I feel it's just... Uh, I'm getting like it's going to be a little bit shocking to you. Or a little bit of a difficult um, decision here that you have to make. Death, yes, because that would mean having to end something else, whether that be some beliefs that you've been holding on to or, um, or another commitment. Taurus, all right. That was pretty intense. So let's see if this resonated. Let's get your final oracle message. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did resonate. If it didn't, it's just not your story. That's okay. And we have the mutable moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. Yeah, you know, so no need to stress. Nothing is set in stone. You know, you can play it by ear. You know, allow yourself to experience your feelings. Um, be honest with yourself how you feel about a specific situation and everything, you know, is going to fall into place in time. There's nothing that you have to do. There are no shoulds. Okay, that's what this is saying. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.